All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to replace either the brush roll, the brush roll belt, or the brush roll motor slash uh, 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 circuit board on one of these Shark Navigators. Now, this will also work for most Shark Rotators as well. The process is basically the same. Um, one thing you might need to know, this is an older model, and the older models, to get this plate off, basically just uses a Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a newer model, you're going to find it's either a Phillips head mixed with these weird security bit star tools with a hole in them, or completely all security bit. Uh, to get one of these security bits, uh, you need to order them online. I'll put a link in the description if you have a newer model with one of these weird bits. Uh, you basically need to buy the set. There's like, it's between whatever, $10, $15 for the set because they are different sizes depending on which navigator you have and even which year you have. And it's good to get the ones that fit on these drives like this uh, so they can go into the deeper holes for some of those. So you want a kind of longer one. So anyway, once you have the tools that you need to open this up, you're basically just going to hit all the places that you might miss. There's two in this deep well right here, two screws. I've already taken these screws out. The other two you might miss <coughs> is under the wheels. I've already popped the wheels out here, but basically what you're going to want to do, there's a wheel in here, you need to pop it out with a Phillips head screwdriver, and that way you can get to these uh, screws that are in there. To remove this, if it's the first time removing it, I like to remove it from the bottom and separate it here, <coughs> and it comes off. And you're basically going to almost immediately want to uh, flip this over and take it off from that side. With most of this stuff, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. For example, replacing this brush roll is pretty easy. Shark makes it very easy to essentially just lift it straight out of there on these, it's got these little uh, swivel kind of deals that's, that fit in these slots. And if you just need to replace this, all you need to do is to put it right back in this little cradle here and making sure to put the brush roll and making sure the brush roll uh, belt is on there well. Now if you're replacing the brush roll, you might as well go ahead and replace the belt too. They're not that expensive. You can get most of these parts uh, on Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link to every kind of part I'm going to mention that is on Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link to other places if they're not on Amazon, but uh, most of these should be. So, okay, so let's take the brush roll out because we're going to look at the brush roll motor now. The brush roll belt is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's easy to maneuver out of there. If you need to replace one of these, um, it's just about as self-explanatory as you could think. Um, it's putting it back on there. You do not have to remove the motor for that. Now, <clears throat> another quick thing, if you are replacing the motor here, these changed with the newer models as well. These older models do not have um, screws and they do not have a holder. A new model will have a little plastic piece here and two screws that keep this brush roll motor in place. So the older models don't have that and it's a little trickier to replace them uh, because of that. Another thing I'll mention is that a lot of times people's brush roll will be broken or it could be this board, some, some me mechanism in this board. On Amazon, they basically replace the whole part. It's, it's considered one part, this and this. Um, though, uh, I don't like that you, the way that they sell that, you're basically having to reattach these two wires here. Um, because, so essentially you just be stripping these wires and reattaching them here if you replaced it with that part. All right, so if you want to replace the brush roll motor itself and you don't want to worry about this part, the board, it's pretty easy. Now, to get this out of here, you basically just lift up on it and keep special attention to these wires here and it should be relatively easy to take these guides off these wires off but one thing i want to show you about that is just to remember what what your mark is so in this case uh you know take your new brush roll motor and mark where the white wire will go and where the black wire will go this this particular one has red here so i know white to red and these, these are kind of weird to take off. They'll be kind of frustrating if you don't do it right. Um, basically, you need a pair of needle nose pliers and, and grab it towards the back of this because there's a little button release on the back. 
and you can just pull like crazy and never get that thing off if you don't have a pair of needle nose pliers. Alright, so in the case of replacing this board, all you need is, in this case, Phillips head. If you have a newer one, they might be using a star bit. And I've seen these star bits actually be a different size than the ones that you had been using up to this point. There are three screws in total with all this electronic equipment. Uh, one there and one on this switch. This is the switch that tells you if the, uh, if the machine is down and therefore the brush hole can engage this switch. So on the part that they sell on Amazon is selling this brush roll motor and literally everything except for these two wires here. So if you, and it's good to buy that whole thing if you're not sure whether it's your brush roll motor or if it's the board, it's not that much more money. Uh, but what you will have to do if you're placing it that way is to go ahead and splice these two wires back together. And I'm not gonna show you how to do that. Uh, it's basically just strip it with a pair of wire strippers and uh, you know get those two pieces of copper together and Make sure you're black and on white and all that stuff. Uh, you can use little things like this or you can just do it with electrical tape. So let's just assume that we are putting it all back together. And if I'm doing this, I like to clean it up uh, before I reattach all this stuff because who knows if, it's a, if this is causing any kinds of problems or whatever. All right, I actually decided I am gonna go ahead and replace this old brush roll motor. Uh, it has been giving me some troubles with a newer one. And you can see this is a new one that actually was built differently in the sense that it has holes for screws uh, and it's meant to go into a mount here. But it will work with these older ones as well. It's essentially the same motor. It just has a different mounting abilities. It can be mounted to a newer model. <clears throat> okay, so when putting this back on, we see here again the red. The red is marked for us, and we know the white cord goes with the red. So we can just go ahead and plug these two up. Now the main thing with the cords is they need to fit down here in this little guide, but before we do that, we need to talk about how this thing works and fits in here. Now with these older models, since they don't have the bracket that you screw into, you, you are basically laying this in here perfectly. And the things that you lay it in here, your guides are gonna be this piece right here and this piece right here. Um, now nothing's gonna like fit in there. You're not gonna, it, they're just, it's weird how it lays in there. Uh, it, and it basically does so by uh, just having enough room. <laughs> it, it's this sweet spot, I guess you could call it. Now, another thing you need to be watching for here, if you can see this, is there's a little, there's a little cradle here, this uh, kind of conical shape here, uh, is going to rest on the lip of this rubber piece here. So that's another piece that we're going to be watching for when we're looking for our sweet spot. Um, but basically, you, it's going to, there's going to be a angle of the way these two white pieces are uh, facing, they're gonna be at an angle kind of facing down like that. And the, there's one particular way in which it fits perfectly. And when you get it that way, you will know it because a couple things are gonna happen. Number one, it's gonna be resting comfortably in its little cradle here. And you're gonna not be able to move this one way or the other. It's in there good okay make sure your cords are nicely tucked away in there and you are ready for the final process here all right let's put it back together again first thing we want to do is find our belt and slide it in there nice and then we get our brush roll making sure that the white part with the grooves is on the side with the belt and using these little slots, 
before we get it in there we want to wrap it around brush roll push it down back in these slots and make sure when you're doing this don't forget to look to make sure it's riding nicely on this should be flush with here everything should be lined up good and uh, a little quick test shows that everything is working as it should um, let's make sure everything else is good we want to make sure this swivel part is laying in there well and we can we can put this back on top here making sure again looking out this like this area right here is a very crucial area that might if I put this on wrong with these wires here I'm gonna have a lot of trouble closing this I'm gonna be pinching these wires unnecessarily so it really is a big deal this happens more times than you think is to get these wires out of harm's way uh, before you put this top back on Once you get get it back there you can flip it over and start with the screws I should mention that when putting this back together you're gonna have one screw that is longer than the others and it goes right there dead center in case you're wondering where the odd screw out goes all right with wheels these guys have has about had it but they've got another couple uh, runs of life on them so I'm just gonna pop them back in there with my screwdriver and do the same over here Yeah, those wheels have about had it. Other than that, we've got this ready to go and ready to test out.